if your child is in P5 this year, then yes, your child will be the first batch that will be taking on this new PSLE math format. What is the difference? Hello everyone, this is Teacher Shalin from Blue Tree Education. Today I'll be sharing with you all what is the change in the PSLE math format for 2026. So previously, for paper 1, it used to be out of 45 marks. With this new change, now paper 1 is out of 50 marks. And paper 2 used to be out of 55. With this new change, now paper 2 is also out of 50. So actually, paper 1 and paper 2 actually have equal weightage. So both are equally important, alright? Now let's take a look at the breakdown of the questions and the marks allocation. So let's take a look at paper 1 first. Previously, paper 1 has 15 MCQ and 15 short questions. Now with this new change, right, expect 18 MCQ questions and only 12 short questions. So by looking at this, it seems quite manageable, right? Time taken, used to be one hour, now you have extra 10 minutes for just three more MCQ and you have three shorter questions. But if you actually look at the breakdown, that's not the case. The MCQ questions used to be 10 questions, one mark each, that didn't change, it's still the same. However, now you have three extra two marks MCQ. And usually based on the past experience, two marks MCQs are the ones that's a little bit harder, a little bit trickier. Now you have three more of such questions. Now let's take a look at the shorter questions. You will notice that there's no more one mark short questions anymore. Previously, there used to be five one mark short questions. Now you have zero. All your short questions are two marks each. And for the first four to five short questions, they're actually in part A and part B, part A and part B. Which means that number one, you have more questions to solve. Number two, if it's two parts to the question, it means that part A only has one mark and part B only has one mark. So it's either you get it right or you get it wrong. Because for one mark question, uh, you can't be awarded any matter marks, right? It's you get it or you don't get it, that's all. Okay? With that in mind, you know that with the extra 10 minutes in of, of time, you have to do more questions with more parts and your child also have to make sure that they are aware of how to do questions of different topics because I can test you part A one topic and part B the other topic. But the flip side of things is that the good thing is that if you do not know how to do part A, you can still solve part B. You will not get zero mark for the question entirely. So now let's move on to paper 2. Paper 2 used to be out of 55 marks, so there used to be 17 questions. Now for paper 2, it's only out of 15 marks and the questions, the breakdown of the questions, the 5 questions that's 2 marks each is the same, whereas the, the 3, 4 and 5 marks because there's a drop in 2 questions then they just remove it from 12 to 10, that's all. Time taken used to be 1 hour 30 minutes, now it's 1 hour 20 minutes. Okay. And the good news is that now for paper 2, the units will be given to the child. So your child do not have to write their units. So if in the previous years, if you forget to write your units, half marks is being deducted. If you write the wrong units, one mark is being deducted. Uh, you won't have this problem anymore. So that is the change, the new change for the PSLE uh, math format for 2026. I hope you have learned something.